Trent Taylor used to be a decent slot receiver. This was back in 2017 when he was a rookie, before he'd had back surgery and foot surgery. Back then, he was a little Wes Welker. He could really get open and beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, he's just tiny Trent Taylor. Can't get open, can't beat man-to-man -man coverage, can't do anything to help the 49ers, and he's had lots of opportunities, especially in this game against the Packers. Here he is, fourth quarter, 15 minutes left, second and 10, this ball's coming to him. He's got to get open. Now watch this route that he runs. Watch him try to get open. One, two, three, four, five little stutter steps that get him nowhere. That fools the defensive back, not at all. Gives Nick Mullins no window to throw. Mullins still hits him on the hands. Let's check out the placement of the throw. Notice Trent Taylor isn't open. Ball still goes to him. Ball's on his hands. Hits him. Drops it. But the, what you need to focus on here is the route. He used to be able to run a quick little route here. Very quick coming out of college. Could get the cornerback leaning one way before Trent Taylor would break the other way. Tries to get him off balance like a basketball player doing a crossover. But this is the most pathetic crossover you've ever seen. It's almost like he's doing the mariachi and going nowhere. This is the worst route of the game. They can't call this play for Trent Taylor anymore. All right, here's another example of Trent Taylor trying to get open and failing. Here we got two minutes left in the fourth quarter. He's in the slot at the top of your screen. He's going to be running one of those little stutter step routes again, as will Richie James Jr., who actually is a terrific wide receiver and can get open. He can do the thing that Trent Taylor is supposed to do and can't do anymore. Let's watch it right now. Focus on Trent Taylor first. The ball's not going to go to him. Watch the route he runs. He runs right at the defensive back, starts doing the little choppy stutter step thing, cuts to the outside, gets no explosion off that cut. Just look at the cut. Really doesn't plant hard off that foot, gets nothing. Now, let's watch Richie James do it correctly at the bottom of the screen. Richie James is a fantastic route runner who's extremely explosive when he cuts off either foot. Watch it here. Sets him up. Boom. That's a real hard cut outside of his frame. Gets the guy running the wrong direction. Has about five, at least five yards of separation. Gains 11 yards. Let's watch it from this angle. Here's Richie James here. Look at the beautiful cut. This is what Trent Taylor used to be able to do, kind of, sort of, in 2017 and can't do anymore. This is what Richie James has been able to do since he entered the league in 2018 and hasn't had nearly enough opportunities to play. I mean, one more time. This is just beautiful. It's perfect. But we're not here to talk about Richie James. We're here to talk about the guy who takes all of Richie James' playing time. Trent Taylor. One more time. Trent, do the thing that you're supposed to do right here. Go ahead. Beat man coverage. Try. It's not even man coverage. It's zone. Still, terrible cut. Not the route runner he used to be. Not as quick as he used to be. He's not quick anymore. He's the slowest, least quick player on the in the 49ers wide receiver room. Okay, so Trent Taylor's lost his speed and quickness and ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage and be an effective wide receiver in the NFL. Fine. There are other things players can do to make an impact, I hear you saying. You might be saying. Like... What about blocking? Why are you singling him out for his route running? I'm sure he's a great blocker, right? Well, here he is in the slot, 547 left, fourth quarter. Thinks about maybe blocking 56 and then is like, nah, 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 I don't want to block him. And then he sees two guys here. Which one is he going to block? Both of them, maybe? Both of them? He, doesn't, he goes for 41 and then lets 46 make the tackle. So, yeah. Is he a good blocker? Um, you make the call on that one. What does 56 think? Do you think 56 noticed him on this play? And the fact that he would go for 41 instead of 46 means he doesn't really want any of that action, from what I could tell. This guy needs to sit on the bench at best or get released. His NFL dream is over. Let someone else pursue theirs for crying out loud.